Hello everybody, my name is Farmer Phil Not making that how there And today we are going to try and get the beans cut The sky is not looking over hectic Just after giving the tractor a quick wash Because we've been at slurry for the last couple of days And we are really, really pushing on now to try and get these beans cut But the sky just does not look great I think they're going in ahead with the combine So we have to try and get tooled up and get everything moved And yeah, it's just so go, 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 go. I still ain't gonna make it out here. Yeah, just playing with the teleporter and the teleporter can put things in awkwardly. But anyways, that's what we're gonna try and do. Beans are 26% at the minute. So you get another hour or two, we'll get them down 24%. And we will be putting them through the mill and acid in them, propionic acid straight away. Not rolling them, just a hole through it, just to apply acid to keep them because they will not keep it that high of moisture. But anyways, Talk a bit more about that, but I gotta go here and get this head into it. The beans are starting to get very fragile. That's why we, we're, we're at it now at the high moisture because with all, you might be able to hear me, the wind is a little bit annoying. Um, with all the rain that's falling at the minute, it's getting rain and then drying, that helps the pods shed. And we need to get cut before they shed. Otherwise we'll have a problem. This is the bean straw. So it's quite damp. So I don't know whether we'll do anything with that or not this time. Um, but I don't see any beans on the ground, which is what you want. It's getting them all. So it's a whole different setup in the combine to get to harvest the beans. It's opening the concave, opening the riddles. It's a whole different setup. I see two there. It's not too bad now. So, anyways, that's the beans. The crop is much, much higher out there than it is up here. Um, much higher but anyways we gotta go get the mill and start getting more stuff in here so we can start processing and treating the beans as they get them cut it's all go all go so father phil's just bringing in the 64a we bond the stone fork to carry in our barrel of propionic acid with the mill in there we come back for the 3690 in the trailer. The last time we grew beans, I think it was 2015. It was the year before the beast from the east because the beans were in the shed. I remember them getting covered in snow from the beast from the east. So you can let us know what that was. Same field, same 10 acres, but I'll see how they're doing now. Get back in there. Uncle Ian is cutting away, keeping the snow on the road, and we're just rushing around trying to get everything organized and getting everything brought in nothing like a bit of a panic to get it done but anyways we get it done once it doesn't rain and we get these cut that's the harvest finished and the combine will be going into the shed this evening all done it'll be great 16th of september i it's just uh, unbelievable I, I i don't think ever in my lifetime i've seen a cut uh, if the harvest finished this early if fingers crossed the weather doesn't break. But anyways, we'll be on. First bit 
beans ready for processing. Smell of acid. Oh, if there was a nose smell of vision thing, burn the nostrils off you. We're working away the there. They had the full of the tank in two rounds and a bit. So, this is the beans now. It's a little bit poor this end. It's a rare crop out in the middle of the field, but it's just. There's a good wind out. Not great for filming, but great for this job because the good wind it'll dry quick, but you can see you can actually see here that pot is split. So it, it is very much on the point. It's it really is like if we were to try and wait to get them drier, you just don't know what the weather's gonna do. And by the time you get them drier, you could have lost half of them to, to shedding. But that's the beans. Something you'll see. The beans don't go up all, all the way up the stalks. They're only on the real, the bottom ends of it. A very strange growth with the beans this year. Grew, they flowered, they potted, then the heat wave came and they stopped. And then after the heat wave, they grew again and they flowered, but they didn't pod the second time. And you can see all of these field bits all the way up on the stalks. Whatever happened, we don't know. We actually had a man brought bees to us to, to help pollinate them and it did it didn't seem to make much of a difference they didn't put any pods on but that's the beans and that is what they look like so it's completely different settings for the combine because you're trying to get a much larger seed with minimal trash so it's completely different settings open everything up to try and get it all out of it so. uh, the prep is actually quite clean it looks it looks deplorable the crop like this so does it it just does not look great at all but that's just how it is and it's an incredibly early harvest for them i think the last time we grew beans we cut them sometime it was in well into october could have been the 20th or the 15th of october in a, like a month's time so they are well well ahead of other years this is where the beans get much better now out here nicer there's no dirt look how clean the ground is there is no dirt out here. Huge, huge height the beans are. Four foot, nearly five foot there. Last time we were done. Uh, much the same as the last time, but the last time was, was quite good. 
Just in the cab there with Uncle Lean before we come down for that we got a bit of a talk with him eventually we got it done and I got some footage of like in and around the combine a bit more for the video beans last the final hoo-ha but I did get to get some anyways before I get too much further in this video and forget myself yet again I'd like to thank the sponsor of today's video Sengcrop you may remember we installed one of their weather stations earlier in the year and it has been very useful bit of kit um, bring it up here on my phone do, 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 it'll appear on the screen if I can hit the right button and you can see there currently live feed from where it is no rain, the temperature, the humidity it has been very helpful for Father Phil when it comes to spraying we don't have to go up there see what's going on relatively speaking so far from here it can oftentimes be raining up there not raining here or vice versa it's also it's it's so cool like you can go back so i can see today the rainfall i can go the last 30 days how much rain have we got we were at 53 mil in the last 30 days and you can see the dry spell from the 23rd of august to the 6th of september without any rain all right it was even before that the 21st of august and we had no rain the whole way till the 5th of September with half a mil and into the 8th of September is when it started raining again and you can see that and I can also put in the temperature and you can see the temperature variations it, there's so much information on this recorded it's, it's so cool to look at not only that but to have the forecast so you can select which forecast you want from the UK Met Office German, Dutch or French and not only does 
Do you, can you select which one you want? But we're currently on the German because after a while it'll tell you which of the weather forecasters is the most accurate based on the weather station. So it turns out the German forecaster is the most accurate for us. And it says we're going to have rain by six o'clock this evening, which is just about three hours away. So hopefully we'll get it all done before then. Another new feature that's only after been added, like quite literally yesterday, they've added an agronomy page and they put in you can put in when you sow your maize and then it'll tell you when according to the amount of heat the crop has got when it'll be ready so you can see as of the 11th of september there our crop of maize has seen 1207 degrees of heat accumulative across its growing cycle and it is on spot it's just at that stage of of the 24 percent dm now i didn't measure it but just to look at how phil couldn't he was quite mesmerized by they were able to tell us this and it also gives us it's saying that her harvest date should be around the 11th of october from the 6th to the 11th of october as you can see there the different stages it's going to be at so as part of the agronomy page that they've added you also have grown stages for grain maize forage maize linen sunflowers and you also have a frost risk septoria risk Crispy risk for beet and a blight potato risk. So that's going to be very useful for us for next year for the potatoes because it'll alert us when there's a blight risk and we'll be able to spray for bright. Also, on the potatoes this year, we are digging away at the minute by with shovel in hand and we have new potatoes in the shop, our heritage varieties and curb pinks and records. So we have them freshly dug for the weekend. So if you want to get some fresh spots, come down at the weekends. We won't be digging all the spots till later on in the year when we're organizing that but anyways that's the same crop we've been well happy with it it's been amazing to be able to see how everything has grown the new agronomy page we're well well pleased with not only have they sponsored today's video but they have also given my viewers ye who are watching if you're interested money off discounted if you go on the link in the description down below head over to the landing page you can get your same crop weather stations or you can subscribe to that and you get a discounted price that offer is only available for two weeks from the video goes up so if you're interested you better go on to it now but big thanks to them for sponsoring days but we're well happy with it. and anyways i better stop ranting and raving we get in and get a bail and done before father before father phil thinks i got lost or something Liv is just back from the butcher another fresh side of beef for the weekend so if you want to get some fresh beef please come down at the weekend it's all we only have fresh beef for the weekends as it won't last for the week so we have to freeze it our family boxes everything is back up on we were out of stock with steaks there for quite some time but we're back in stock with everything get in touch with us we'll always try to do our best but anyways we're behind
summer heat, bodies lay on the carpet Out of eye, glistening, no, I saw it I saw it, I saw it You're golden, golden, honestly, you know it Me, I'm through the street, I at the end so I could show it Just landed down the drone. See what we're bailing. It bails them. Oh yeah. Just nice now. Anyways, we better get to it because I've already got the get a lot of these bales, man. 13 mets so far. I remember the last time in the two fields with 58 bales of beans. Colleen has just finished here, just starting the next field, which isn't a is about a quarter the size of this one. I'm well underway here, 34 bales made. Uh, one trailer load of beans filled, one trailer load getting there. So I'd say we'll have around two trailer load. Um, I don't know when we have any more than two trailer load. The last time we done it, we had just over two trailer load. So I'd say. As Uncle Queen said earlier, it'll be much more much this. It's going to be much the same as the last time we grew beans. Good luck of bean straw. <laughs> like, good luck of bean straw. It's rough old stuff, it's rough old bed, but there's great soakage in it. So, that's this field bailed. 45 bales on it. I think he's on the third round of the next field. The trailer under 3690 looks quite full. I think he's going to have to go tip a trailer. We're making space now. 36 now just looks so good. First lot of beans tipped. Oh, the smell. Oh. The acid smell is just really strong. We're putting it on at a litre and a half a minute. And it, uh, I don't really know how much it's processing. I'll have to ask for to fill more on that later. But that's the first load, so there'll be at least another load in a bit. And then the reason I'm not picking up a handful is because of that acid. That acid is very strong stuff. It will quite literally burn the hands of you and will <laughs> melt your throat and if you got a dribble of it on you give it a couple of days and the acid will have either evaporated or dried into the beans and it'll keep them and they'll be alright to touch they won't they won't harm you but original plan for the beans was if we got them 20% or under we would alkaline with the barley and that and roll the whole lot together but because it's so high in moisture that won't keep it so we had to put the acid on it but now with the acid on we can't treat it with the alkaline treatments it will screw it up so they'll have to be rolled and fed separate but what we're going to use them for is we're going to roll them with the mill so we'll go through the mill again and we'll feed them to the cattle as part of our TMR ration beans are full of protein and the idea is that with the protein in the beans we should have to buy in less maize meal or hopefully no maize meal at all that means we're more self-sufficient on the farm right it are known as a field bean very same as a broad bean that's it anyways, we'll tip back to the yard or to the field. Another couple of drops show falling, but we need to get this baling done and get this wrapped up. So just after getting back after tipping the first load in the shed, Uncle Lean is finished. All the beans are cut and this ground is actually holed up quite well. But anyways, we will better get baling because there's quite literally rain just coming. The bales of bean straw are being taken away at the minute. And that's it, harvest 2021 is finished. 
That's Uncle Ian finished his 47th harvest. Now man has seen a lot of changes. Starting on the 7, 780 special, all the way to the Massey 38. That's it, harvest 2021 is officially over with the exception of the maize. And as you've seen, you have a rough idea when that will be. Sometime around the 10th of October. Yes. I get these off a lot of bales wrapped up. That is the end of harvest 2021 for the combine. Maize is, you know, still to be done. As the beans baled. The wild list you're just taking off the header now. So now it's mass exodus out of the field. You get everything out. Get these trailers in. It's just starting to spit rain. We'll see what time it is. It's five o'clock. Five o'clock. And it says be six o'clock. It's to be raining. So it looks like the forecast won't be far off. And jump up in the 3690 and bring you home. I put the camera up. So stay tuned to the very end. You get a good snort of the 3690. Fully loaded of beans. There's a lot of weight in the trailer. So a lot of weight in the red rocks on the road. A lot of weight. Catch Father Phil there before he tips off in the combine. Oh, Cloud, you're a bit dusty there. Well, we're off the cleaning the dog with our um, man. Well, ju we just knocked some of the dirt off it because there's rain promised. Just while I get in the shed, we'll take it out another dry day oh, and blow it down. We'll blow off another week's time. Yeah, chance. summerized harvest there. It couldn't be better. Couldn't be better. It could be better. Good crops, good yields. Yeah. Mostly good weather. Poor, a little bit tricky. Poor today. straw crop though. Well, yeah. Spring but crops were poor with straw, very poor. Yeah, but you use a shorter and you use yeah. a shorter and you can't expect to have the straw. Yeah. But uh, apart from that, I, I wouldn't wouldn't thought it that they had good grain crops. Yeah. Everything done what it was supposed to do. How heavy do you think that was? What do you think it done? This, you were two and a half tons. Two and a half tons to the acre? Yeah, ten acres. You were 25 tons of beans. 25 tons of beans in the shed? Yeah. yeah. Roughly. Glad it's over. Glad it's over. But you can't wait to get the next bit in the ground. Well, that's the thing, you see, it's getting in the way of getting the next bit in the ground. I think we'll leave it at that for today's video. Stay tuned for the 3690 going down the road next. But anyways, that is it from us. Then the harvest 2021. Bar the maze. Well, bar the maze. Huh? Bar the maze. The combine is finished, though. But anyways, that is it from us. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. You have to wait another year to see the combine. Maybe we'll get the vintage ones out for next year. <laughs> We were saying that. That is it from us. Good luck.